I'm Anthony, and this is my early morning fish routine. What's up, everybody? This is my early morning fish tank routine. I'm going to go around, and I'm going to turn on all the lights, and I'm going to wait a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to feed some fish, and then we're going to get into this video. All right, so it looks like this plant right here, this one right here, it looks like it's floating. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to replant that real quick. And then we're going to uh, feed some fish. It actually looks like I'm also going to need to do a little bit of a water change. It just looks like the bottom of that is getting a little dirty. Uh, like I said, this, this tank's been running for a couple of weeks now. So um, it's about due for its first water change. And that's what we're going to be doing today, among other things. So I'm going to grab my clip. This is my little clip. All it is is it's pretty much just like a weight that stays on the bottom of the plant. That way the plant stays submerged. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy back on. So there we go. The weight's back on. And plant. Turn it towards the light. I want to make sure it gets plenty of light. Alright, it is feeding time. So in the morning time, I do a little bit of a mixture for the fish. That way they get a little bit of a variety. So I'm going to give them some of this. I'm going to give them some granules. And a little bit of flakes. Okay, drop a little bit of this food in here. All right, so as you can tell, I've already started sexing out this tank. This is the main tank, the first tank I started off with. Uh, it's the 29 gallon tall. Um, all I have left in here right now is the tequila sunrise guppies. Um, I also have a blue mystery snail, and I think there's still a yellow mystery snail in here or a golden mystery snail. Um, that one belongs to my kiddo, so that one's going to go back in the 20-gallon long tank. Uh, but until then, let's go ahead and feed these guys. They're starting to look hungry. Now, on this one, I'm only going to give them flakes. Now, I also have a breeder box on the back of this fish tank. Um, I have the wife's cherry barbs back here trying to get them to breed also. 
So hopefully here in the next day or two, we'll have some luck with that. It's only been 24 hours of them being in the tank together. Um, I will try the whole 40, wait in 48 hours before I remove the parents out of the tank. Um, but um, I'm already starting to get more baby guppies in the big tank. So I got to make sure that I keep an eye on this because since my breeder box is being used, I have nowhere to put the baby fry for the moment. So that's another reason why I've been feeding so heavily. I just want to make sure the bigger guppies and the adults have plenty to eat. That way they're not picking off the, the baby fry. All right, so this is the last tank that we're going to be feeding this morning. Uh, it's my wife's community tank. It's only a 10 gallon. Um, a little bit of everything in here. Cherry barbs, neon tetras, uh, blue mystery snail. Uh, we have some anglers in here. And that's pretty much it. So make sure you give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.